fluorescence. Look at that. What's going on guys? It's F5 of the card guys and you know what it is today. Today is the day we got our Series 2 2021 Hobby Box. Yes, that's right. It finally came in the mail. So if you're new to this channel and I do appreciate you guys stopping by and checking us out. Um, we do a few things here. We've got a giveaway that's ongoing right now just to recap. The giveaway is either a Mikhail Burdine Young Guns Canvas or a Sergei Fedorov rookie card. And if you followed in the last video, people were voting for Sergei Fedorov. So Sergei Fedorov moves on to the next round. We'll be giving away whatever card is sitting there by the time we hit 300 subs. We're getting there. We're around 250 something as of this video. So hopefully it continues to grow. I am going to rip half a box because we're a smaller YouTube channel and uh, we got a milk for content let's just be honest so we're going to do half a box and i'm going to choose a card from this half box to go against sergey fedorov hopefully there is something of value that we can put up there to to entice you guys to vote for whatever card we get um but yeah so that's the gist of the card guys that's what we do we rip things open uh, we might start opening some younger stuff like some pokemon cards we might go back to some Disney stuff because, you know what, at the end of the day, card collecting is for the kids. And we're just some adults that have just invaded your hobby. So, sorry about that in advance. Now, before I rip into this pack, let's go through what you can actually get. There's basically two big young guns that people want. One is Tim Stutzel, or Stutzla, and the other one is Kirill, Kirill Kaprizov. Oh, that's a mouthful. Kaprizov. Now for me, I actually want a Niels Hoaglander because I am a Canucks fan. Um, the odds of getting Young Guns is 1 in 4, so you're guaranteed 6 in each of these hobby boxes. There's some rare stuff in here now, like some low-numbered patch parallels. There's also French parallels, similar to what you got in the original Series 1 this year. There's also some flashback materials. There's dual materials. And there's also fluorescence and some other stuff that you can get in here. So there's even OPG versions of Alexis Lafreniere's uh, rookie cards. So there's a lot of good stuff that you can get in the 2021 Series 2 Hobby Box. In fact, I think this is probably better than Series 1. I'm pretty sure most people will agree just given the cost of a Kaprizov Young Gun versus where Lafreniere is at now. Now that being said... There's one thing I do have to warn you guys. If you are thinking of buying this and making money off of these products or getting or at least breaking even, chances are you won't. I'm going to say 95% chance you won't get your money back unless you hit one of those big young guns. And that's why we do this, right? We want to rip packs to make sure that we get there. So it's probably if you're in this hobby to make money, it's best to just sell these boxes on eBay or whatever it is for a profit and call it a day and not even think about whether or not you get anything. But we're the card guys. We rip things open. So here we go. Let's get started. And my trusty assistant here has failed me. That's not a good start. Um, let's hope these packs are easier to open than what we've seen in the past. At least what I've seen because I'm very bad at ripping packs. Okay, so here we go. Let me slice this part open as well. Trusty assistant, don't fail me. There we go. Ooh, beautiful looking packs here. This purple color, I love purple. This is a nice looking pack. I'm going to set it up properly so you guys can see it. There you go, Johnny Tavares leading the way. All right, so as I mentioned, we're gonna do half the box to start. So let's do opposite corners. We'll do this corner here and we'll do this corner here. All right. And uh, yeah, we'll save the rest for next time. So, which means you guys got to come back if you want to see the next half. So let me get started. There's some packs here, six packs. 
Here's another three, so we're at nine. And then the final three in this bottom corner, we're at 12 packs. I'm gonna put this aside, get this out of the way. I've got some sleeves, I got some top loaders ready. We're ready to rip, guys. No, um, usually some people have some sort of ritual for luck. I used to have one. It didn't bring me any luck, so it's just me. Just me, my hands, and my voice. Hopefully, make this entertaining. Let's get started. Let's go. First pack. Again, I'm looking for Hoaglander, but I'll take anything at this point. I don't mind uh, Stutzla. I don't mind a Kaprizov. I don't mind a guy like... Um, uh, Kevin Lankinen, is that how you say his name? Lankinen of Chicago. That guy's going to be a stud. He's been helping my fantasy team so far. But here, let's see. First pack, got Warren Fogel, Andrei Svechnikov, Darren Helm, Sam Steele, and we got a Shane Bowers marquee rookies okay so that's our first hit shane bowers marquee rookie dennis gurianov dustin brown josh bailey so that actually goes pretty well with this card here which we were originally thinking about giving away it was a shane bowers young guns so not numbered on the back but uh yeah i'm gonna keep these two together maybe we can pair it off or something all right next pack let's do this I gotta say, I do like this purple, right? This purple really stands out, don't you think? Or is it just me? All right, next pack. Let's rip. Man, this is harder than series one. Or nope, nope, I just didn't grip it properly. Here we go. Arturi Lekkinen, Brett Conley, William Nylander, Nick Schmaltz, and Another marquee rookies of Victor Soderstrom. Okay, this one is also not numbered. Not a great start, guys, but that's what we're here for. Gavrikov, Zingle, and Paul Byron. All right, two packs in. No young guns. That Shane Bowers was there before, if you just tuned in. Uh, but yeah, so far, just a bunch of OPG stuff, so... I guess those are more common inserts in uh, this version than the last. All right, let's go. I see Brent Burns on the back here as I mangle this pack. Here we go. Oh, we got a Young Guns, Logan Coacher, Brad Marchand. Oh, I forgot about him. I thought he was in Series 1. Carey Price. First young gun is David Cass. Okay, there we go. Put him aside. Philadelphia's not doing great right now. They need a goalie or somebody to play some defense there. Carter Rowney, Brandon Montour, Damon Severson, and Brent Burns. Yeah, Carter Hart, not doing great this year. I hope he recovers. He's not on my fantasy team, but uh, when the Olympics come around, you really want a goalie like Carter Hart to be be a standout and to you know stand on his head help Canada win a cup or gold medal or whatever we're going after but uh, yeah not looking great for the Philadelphia fans right now Strawman, Brady Kachuk OEL rookie portraits of Jonas Johansson okay Corey Perry Adam Boquist Jake Gardner and Anthony Mantha whole bunch of nothing so far guys <laughs> Sorry, a whole bunch of nothing. All right, next pack. Let's do this. Matt Barzell, Anders Nilsson, Mike Hoffman, Clayton Keller, and an award winners of Nathan McKinnon, Lady Bing. Huh. All right, Troy Terry, Victor Mete, and Chris Drieger. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs to go. No young guns yet. Maybe a second half break is going to be better than the first half. So, eh, not much to write home about so far, guys. But we're only halfway through this first break. Jack Hughes, Brian Rust, Anton Kadobin. 
Evgeny Malkin, Canvas. Sergachev, Aston Reese, Blackwood. And Brendan Lemieux. Okay, we passed the halfway mark. Still no young guns. I guess the two corners that I chose were terrible corners. Now we know. Okay. Pierre Edouard Bellard. That's a sweet picture. That's a sweet jersey too. Awesome. Andre Vasilevsky. Gustav Nyquist. Ooh, we got another OPG card here. Oscar Sundquist and award winner Connor Hellebuck. Vesna. All right, there you go. James Van Riemsdyk, Rasmus Anderson, and Mike Smith. Zero young guns. Can you believe it, guys? Zero young guns. That second half break should be loaded. Here we go. Next pack. Tyler Bozak, Ben Hutton, Jared McCann, Jonas Brodeen, Igor Zamula, Scott Lofton, Ethan Bear, and Ryan Hartman. The offer continues. Got four packs left, so one in four, right? So I should get at least one, theoretically speaking. But I got to say, man, Upper Deck Series 2 has been pretty disappointing to me. Oh, no, I shouldn't say zero young guns. I did get one. Never mind. I take everything I said back. Everything I said was a lie. Here we go. Alex Chason, Travis Dervit, Ian Cole, and here we go. Second young guns, Alexander Barabanov of the Toronto Maple Leafs. There you go. Derek Brassard, Dante Fabro, Jonas Corposalo, and Nico Heischer. Hope he has a speedy recovery. Three packs left to go. We got two young guns so far. Nothing to really... Right home about none of the big guys yet. Lots of OP cheat cards. We go Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Claude Giroux, we got a Dazzlers, Andreas Anthonisiu. Oh, we got two things in here. We've got a Martin Nakas and a Mark Shifley. That's interesting. Nichushkin, Ivan Barbashev, and Zdeno Chara still with Boston, apparently. Boston. All right. Two packs left. We got two inserts there for some reason. Maybe they felt bad for what I've gone through. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Only two young guns. Jordan Greenway, Adam Pellick, Matthias Ekholm, and here we go. Third young gun is Yanni Hakenpa. Hakenpa? There's the, uh, ooh, nice checklist. Pedersen and Matthews. Sean Walker, Brian Dumoulin, and Cam Atkinson. Okay, I'm just going to group these young guns together because that's pretty much why people are here. Uh, we've got three so far. Last pack magic of Upper Deck 2021 Series 2. Here we go. I think... It's an OPG card or, or a Dazzler or something. We'll see. Seth Jones, Jesper Bratt, Tyler Bertuzzi. Ooh, fluorescence. Look at that. Look at that. We got a Jason Robertson fluorescence. Okay. That may have just redeemed the box. It's number two of 50. This corner. Uh, is that just dust or is it actually bad? I can't tell, but anyway, I think it's just the way it's designed, to be honest with you guys. Or it's just poor cutting, I don't know. But there you go, Jason Robertson, 2 of 50, fluorescence. That's the first time I've ever pulled one. Brad Hunt, Yaroslav Halak, David Kampf, and Kotkinemi. So guys, what do you think so far of this break? This is the first half of Upper Deck Series 2. Um, I think the best card is the Jason Robertson Fluorescence. I've got three young guns right now. And, of course, like I said, we've got to update that giveaway. So, I've got to choose something out of here to give away. I Unfortunately, I'm going to keep this Jason Robertson card because it's the first time I've ever pulled a Fluorescence. I'm just going to sleeve it up while I tell you guys what I think we should give away 
uh, as our card against Sergei Fedorov. I'll be honest with you, I don't think there's anything in here that people will go absolutely nuts for because Sergei Fedorov is a pretty sweet legendary card. Um, so, what I would like to do is... Hmm. I don't think these young guns are big names either. I think the next best card is probably this Mark Shifley Dazzlers. So, let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty sure I already know the answer, but will it be the reigning defending champion, Sergei Fedorov? Or will it be Mark Shifley's Dazzler? So, Sergei Fedorov, OPG Premier Rookie Card versus... Mark Shifley, Blue Dazzlers. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Which card goes on. Let me know what you guys think about the break so far. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and sanitize those hands. Make sure you stay clean. And of course, here we like to say drink to that. So drink to that, guys. Cheers.